Hello. Hey, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hi. My name is Becca Maloney. I work in the music business and I'm also a visual artist. My name is Fortune Igabor and I'm a musician from Dublin Land. My name is Farouk Balagoon and I run a business called Brand Royal. I've always been a storyteller, like since I was a kid. Uh, I grew up in quite a creative home. I just have a lot of stories in my soul, a lot of things to say and uh, I found eventually over time that, you know, I liked writing and that kind of turned into writing, like developing stories for the screen in regards to my music work. I just love nothing more than like seeing, you know, acts who are just working so hard and are so talented um, to get to where they deserve to be. The long story short, it's all I have. It's all, it's, if I could look at one thing that I can do, and say, this is how I'm going to be great, this is how I'm going to make the money to live somewhere, do all these amazing things, it's through this. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Ever since I was young, um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to work for myself and I just wanted to do something for myself that I loved, which was fashion. I started to dabble a bit in, you know, designing clothes when I was young and then um, when I got into college, I was able to create my first collection and then that's where we are now. It's just rewarding seeing people um, doing what they love and knowing that you contributed to that in a small way. That's, that's fab for me. That's why I do it probably. It's just the idea that somewhere, anywhere in the world, there's a little kid like me who's writing these really, really bad lyrics in his school copy book instead of doing his homework. And there's a potential that him seeing me do this could push that person to do it as well is the best feeling to go to sleep to. What makes you stand out from your peers? A few reasons, if I'm being honest. One of them is because I'm a really friendly person with like a very strict rule of no ego around me, please. The second strong point for me is I am a problem solver. I think the differentiation from Fortune Igobor to other people is I give it 100% every time and then I give it a little bit more after that. I have a vision that I've been following since the age of 16 and I still wanna, wanna, I still wanna you know, smash that vision and I'm not there yet. So it's just, it's the, it's the drive that keeps me going since I was 16 I keep remembering why I got in there in the first place and why I wanna keep going and why I wake up every day saying that I'm gonna go into the office to go and you know, do something different so that I can be noticed, uh, I can be noticed in Ireland. Overall, what do you think of the Irish scene currently? So the Irish scene is a lot of things. Um, it's thriving, it's beautiful, it's ambitious. Uh, it's also difficult for many different reasons. But there's a lot of us here doing a lot of different things and I'm really proud to be a part of it. I think the Irish creative scene is, it's crazy because you know, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of segments and different sections in it like um, fashion now you know fashion is crazy at the moment and so is music and there's a lot of creatives in the music as well bringing their own little little uh, little touches that you know that we haven't seen before and it's just it's amazing i feel like over the last two or three years we've kind of been trying to figure out if we have a scene here or not or if there's anything to even work with but now i feel like everybody in the room knows that we have these amazing photographers these amazing artists these amazing creative directors amazing videographers, writers, poets. We've got everything we need. Now we're just at a stage where we want to broadcast to the world and show people, yeah, we've got something going on in Ireland. And what do you, as an artist, struggle with the most in this scene? Um, at the moment, I, it's just, um, it's finding, it's, it's so much as finding support and also, um, you know, the right equipment, the right materials to use, you know, while, um, when trying to, be creative in the in the fashion scene. Uh, it's quite a small country and it can be quite clicky I think in all aspects of the arts uh, whether that be music or like film or photography. Ireland is weird because we don't really have any place that we can replicate or look to for a blueprint. Mm -hmm. Having a plan where I can be like yeah okay this is going to work because this is where I'm staying in. What can be done is you know if everybody within the creative scene you know artists and um, everybody fashion and um, anybody that's that's in the creative scene if they can just come together and you know help each other out everybody's starting up is starting from somewhere and if we can just help each other out 
and it's, it will make a big difference. I think that the power of community, of collectives, will always help in encouraging others who want to do creative jobs or creative roles to say like you don't have to study or formally train or like even know someone who does what you want to do in order to get into it. What advice would you give to anybody looking to go down your path or what's something you wish you knew when you started? Um, the advice I would give and what I wish I knew when I started was that you know it's not easy mm -hmm. and the the more creative and the more different you are, the better, because that's what sets you. That's what sets you out from, sets you apart from other people. If you have something in there that just makes it a little different to everything else, people will pay attention to it. I think that I I should have stopped caring what people thought of me a lot sooner. Like I said before, the whole click situation and feeling a little bit more demotivated by people turning their nose up at me when I wanted to try new things. Um, I let that get to me for a really long time. Um, I think in Ireland we have a lot of that. You know, we, we kind of shame other people who are like doing something different. I wish that I stopped caring a long time ago. I feel like I probably would be a lot further along in what I'm doing. Do your thing, life is short. So, you know, you have to try it. And it might not work out for you. Like, you might be crap at it, that's okay. I've been given that piece of advice so many times and I'd always walk away so upset with it because you ask your favourite rapper for advice and you expect this whole spew of amazing tips and tricks. But the simplest thing I've ever been told is just do it because I've had that in my mind all year. And you'll be so surprised the amount of time you lose asking yourself, should I do this? Should I go through with this? But if you just make the decision to do it and gun at it, it's going to be way, way, way more effective than overthinking and analysing everything. So that's what I say, just do it. It's just not that deep, so just, just do it, you know. It's not as easy said and done than, like, just do it, as in, just try it, you know, shoot for the stars. Because if you fall, you land on a cloud, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> Don't put that in, I'm so cringy. <laughs> if you know that you're talented and you believe in your heart that there's something that you want to do, don't let anybody take anything of that sort away from you. Hold on to it like it's all you have, and eventually everything is going to work out exactly the way you imagine it to. And you're going to be fine. You'll make it out of anything. <laughs>